Hi everyone, so um, as you guys know on Friday I just kind of record a different reading depending on how I'm feeling. Um, so I thought we would do a full moon eclipse reading because we do have the Hunter's full moon eclipse on the 28th of October. Um, so this is in the sign of Taurus and we're just going to see what messages we need to hear about this eclipse basically. So let me pick my deck. Do you know what? I'm actually going to stick with um, the Gilded Tarot, which I use in my daily reading on my Patreon site. So let's see. Eclipse reading. What do we need to know? Yeah, eclipses always bring about kind of powerful changes. Um, eclipses are known portals. So if you are waiting on an opportunity, um, then this could be the time for, that it appears. Or maybe it's a time where you create an opportunity. Because they're very empowering um, energy gateways. So let's have a look. This eclipse. We've got the world. So something is going to complete with this full moon eclipse. You are going to find yourself in a different position. You are going to be finishing one story, starting another story. The world is just like a successful completion of whatever journey you've been on. So, you know, think over the last month. What is the story that you have, um, you know, been in or like even longer than the last month? You know, maybe from kind of May time this year is what I am picking up on. Um, you know, what what have you been experiencing? Because I feel like something's about to complete with this full moon eclipse, which you have been involved with for quite some time. Um, but this is a successful outcome. You know, this isn't anything to worry about. It feels like this is, um, it's kind of got a rewarding energy. It's like, it's what you deserve. Um, so I do feel like you are about to kind of step into a whole new chapter. So let's see. Cards flying out everywhere. Here is our gateway of opportunity with our High Priestess card. So we do have successful completion. And the High Priestess is asking you to trust your intuition. Um, she's all about mystery. You know, she's a very mysterious lady. So the High Priestess here is kind of asking you to embrace the mystery surrounding this eclipse. This is going to be a season of empowerment this is going to be um like i said an ending but also a beginning and it feels like you're just being guided to trust the journey right now because whatever is happening with this eclipse don't worry don't get stuck in fear it it may slam a door shut you know this may not be a door that you expect it to close but it's going to happen for a very important reason and it is all going to become much much clearer very soon so yeah do not worry about um, what's happening I do see that there's going to be a new gateway which opens up with this eclipse and it's going to encourage you to really step into your power to embrace the unknown but to really trust in yourself and your decisions and your gifts because it does seem like you've got a lot of abilities right now and um, you're very tuned into what is happening Pay attention to your dreams around this eclipse. Pay attention to those little nudges that you are feeling because it seems like you are being pushed through some kind of doorway here. We've got the Page of Wands. So we've got communication coming with this eclipse. We've got good news. The Page of Wands is our messenger, but he usually carries good news. So yeah, I do feel something very good is going to happen around this eclipse. Um... Now, I'm going to be honest, there's a lot of darkness around this eclipse. That's what eclipses are known for as well. So it may not become clear immediately. You may not think, oh, this is, you know, this is great straight away. So don't worry if you do worry a little bit because I feel like that's normal. You know, you are about to see some very big changes over the next few weeks after this eclipse. Um... And, you know, whilst it will make more sense as time goes along, immediately around this eclipse, you may feel like you're being pushed into the darkness. You may not know why things are happening a certain way, but you just have to trust that, you know, it is for a very good reason. Um, so, yeah, the Page of Wands, we have messages, communication, temptation as well I feel like someone is going to maybe make you quite a tempting offer send you a message which is maybe a little bit um risky so I think other people could be 
feeling the nudge with this eclipse season and maybe doing or saying things that they've been trying to build up the courage to 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 do So we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So I do feel like whilst there's a lot of new energy around this eclipse, it's not set in stone. Things are still changing. Um, you know, nothing is set in stone with this eclipse. So even though we've got completion, it feels like you are still seeing this being molded. You're still seeing this come together. So it might be that like I said, I just don't think things are going to make sense around this eclipse, but I think they will become much more grounded over the next few weeks. Um, but this Ace of Pentacles is really guiding you to maybe think about where there are blocks in your material world, where there's financial blocks, even where you're not feeling secure within yourself. That's where the eclipse season is asking you to identify those barriers and the, the blocks that exist, because this eclipse season is going to help you clear out those blocks so that you can start to feel much more secure so that you can set intentions for what you want to materialize um you know if you've been looking at changes with work then this is going to be an opportunity for that to happen but you really are being encouraged to identify those blocks and barriers so that you can break free of them and start to see you know your new beginnings really um come to life Queen of Wands, it's going to be such an empowering time, a really, really empowering time, I do feel like I'm getting like someone is not ready for you, or a situation is not ready for you, so there have been some delays here, I feel like you've been waiting for this new beginning, and yeah, it's been a little bit stuck, but for whatever reason why this new beginning hasn't happened, I get the sense that that's what's going to complete. So where there's been barriers and delays, there's going to be completion to those events. And it means that you will then start to see the blocks to your new beginning, you know, um, kind of break down. So yeah, you're going to feel empowered, you're going to feel confident. The Queen of Wands, she is um, very fiery energy, she knows what she wants, she, she creates, she uses her energy to create. So this eclipse is going to give you that burst of energy where you feel ready to break down walls, where you feel ready to make changes, like you're going to need this energy uplift because I feel like you've been pretty exhausted with the journey that you've been on um but yeah this surge of energy is going to give you that spark and I feel like this is a really wonderful really creative time um so this eclipse season is going to push you to create things push you <coughs> to take action <coughs> excuse me where you know that you need to take action so don't let fear of the unknown fear of the future hold you back because i feel this is going to be such a wonderful time queen of cups you're finding this perfect balance between kind of action and receiving i feel like the more you assert your energy the more you do with your creative energy and you know when you take action with what you know you need to you'll also experience your cup being filled up so it's like when you use your energy in the right way it's just this constant cycle you know you receive energy from what you are putting your energy into it's an investment of energy um, an investment of love so i do feel like your cup is going to be being filled back up with this eclipse i do see some kind of distant thunder as if there is a rumbling in the background of changes which are about to happen and I feel a little bit nervous about this in a good way you know like when you know you're gonna be surprised um like you can feel it and I just I, I'm getting that it's like this is Christmas come early, something is rumbling away in the background, something is changing and shifting but because you are using your energy in the right way I feel like you can really surrender to what is happening around you and just enjoy letting this unfold. Okay, let's see any guidance or any messages from spirit page of pentacles wait for the good news wait for the message you're being guided to wait because there is going to be some wonderful news around this eclipse and i feel like once you have received that good news you're then going to know what to do next so spirit is saying i know this is taking a while but it's going to be well worth it 
you know that ace of pentacles it's been tricky to you know to bring to life it's been a difficult cycle a situation here there's been other people who've been influencing it there's just been so many different situations which have all had like a knock-on effect here so spirit is saying i know this is taking its time but you've done your planning you've prepared prepared really well for this and your good news is coming um you are going to see this new beginning that's what pages are they are new beginnings you're going to see this new beginning so don't fear don't worry about this the hierophant here you go there is a reason why this has happened the way that it has but the hierophant is um it's a card of you know tradition and values it's also a card of change um so i do feel like this is just confirming that you know everything is everything is changing everything is um finding its right place you know the hierophant here is um, a spiritual leader it's a, a teacher so i do want to say that you've learned some valuable lessons throughout this experience it may have tested you tested your beliefs and your values but ultimately you know you're coming out in a really confident and secure position um with the hierophant here it it, it feels like you're finding your place you know the hierophant usually has keys he's unlocking doors he's teaching others so you are finding your place um and you're definitely going to be in a position of power and confidence very soon so it feels like you know keep following your moral compass like make sure that your moral compass is pointing north um and I just really feel like everything is going to start come to come together after this eclipse season. Um, the Hierophant also guides you to work with your ancestors. No surprise, we are coming up to Halloween. So work with your ancestors. Speak to your ancestors because they are really going to help you with whatever this situation is. They're going to help you use your energy. They're going to help you fill your cup back up. And um, I do feel like there is a lot of success coming your way around this eclipse and very soon after okay my loves i hope you enjoyed our eclipse reading let me know what resonated have a magical eclipse and um i can't wait to catch up with you guys on monday and find out you know what your experiences were and do our weekly reading on youtube so i'll see you guys on monday but have a lovely weekend